Nowhere Bank is one of the world's leading banks with 13 million customers globally. They have nearly 500 applications running on their environment to support their business. They were using CA APM 9.6.1 to monitor the performance of their applications and wanted to upgrade to CA APM 10.5 to leverage the benefits of the latest features. In their huge environment, they had multiple enterprise managers or EM clusters and were concerned about the upgrade. Unaware of the simplified upgrade available with CA APM 10.5, they were worried about the impact on their existing infrastructure or service impact during the upgrade. Other concerns included the migration of customer configuration files, loss of performance data, and the ability to roll back should problems occur. Thankfully, one of their APM administrators, Kyle Thomas, knew that CA APM 10.5 enabled customers to benefit from the latest features by only upgrading the Enterprise Manager or EM. He reached out to CA Technologies and was delighted to learn that the EM only upgrade option in CA APM 10.5 had been further simplified. The upgrade was available via multiple methods, silent install, Windows UI, and console based for Unix and Linux. The EM only upgrade is easy and simple. It has features like auto backup and rollback. In addition, it comes with a configuration utility. With this, all configuration changes applied in the existing EM will be tracked post-upgrade. Kyle was also excited to know that they didn't have to upgrade their agents to get these benefits. Simply upgrading the EM provided them the latest innovations, such as APM Team Center Perspectives, Differential Analysis, APM Team Center Timeline View, Enterprise Team Center Universes, Experience View, and Assisted Triage. Let's now look at Kyle's journey as he implemented the EM only upgrade option for CA APM 10.5 in Nowhere Bank. Before starting the upgrade process, Kyle and his team spent time on the following activities. Planning the upgrade, ensuring the hardware and virtual machines were in place, backing up TIM configuration data, and downloading the CA APM software. Kyle is now ready to start the actual upgrade process. Let's see how he upgraded the EM seamlessly. Kyle and his team took a quick look at the Nowhere Bank environment and reviewed their existing file structure. Before upgrading CA APM, Kyle stopped all the IntraScope Enterprise Manager services and the IntraScope WebView service. Now, Kyle and his team were ready to upgrade the Manager of Managers, also known as MOM, and the database. He launched the installation media for CA APM 10.5 and continued with the installation wizard. Let's review some of the key installation details that Kyle specified. Kyle chose the custom installation option. He wanted to upgrade MOM and moved ahead with all selections. He set the install path where the existing MOM was installed. Here, Kyle chose to upgrade the existing installation and continued. Nowhere Bank used PostgreSQL database as their APM database, so Kyle decided to upgrade the schema and moved ahead. Since the current PostgreSQL database is 9.2.4 and is 32-bit, Kyle received a notification to upgrade it to the 9.2.15 64-bit edition. Here he clicked the Upgrade PostgreSQL and APM Database button. Earlier, Kyle had shut down all of the IntraScope and related services so he clicked on the IntraScope is shut down, upgrade now button. Kyle selected the enable backup checkbox. By selecting this, Kyle was ensured that he could easily roll back should a problem occur at any point in the upgrade process. Then he proceeded with the installation. Kyle waited till the MOM and PostgreSQL upgrades were complete. He repeated the same process and upgraded the collectors. 
However, notice that while choosing the product components, he cleared everything except for the Enterprise Manager. That was it. He had completed the upgrade to 10.5. Now it was time to verify the upgrade. Kyle verified that the Intrascope services were running. He verified that the database upgrade was successful by confirming the new PostgreSQL service was running. Kyle noticed there were six new folders in the same install directory. The APM rollback folder contained the rollback.bat file, which could be used to roll back or clean up the install. There were three more folders that had the cleanup and rollback information of the mom and collectors. The command center server folder contained the new installation of the APM command center and the PostgreSQL 9.2.15 folder contained the new instance of PostgreSQL. Did you notice how simple it was for Kyle to use the EM only upgrade option for CA APM 10.5? Let's now check out some of the value he gained from using the new features of CA APM 10.5. Kyle launched the CAAPM Team Center to look at the new interface of CAAPM 10.5. He noticed the Experience View and explored the different chart types by clicking on the dots at the bottom of the Experience View card. Kyle opened the Services card by clicking on the name. He could see the overall health score, response times, number of poor transactions, average response times, and transaction volume during the last 24 hours. Here he also got the visibility of the problem stories that assisted triage had detected. Clicking on the go-to map, Kyle navigated to the CA APM Team Center map view. In order to dig deeper, he changed the time range to see the map for the past day and observe the status and topological changes. To diagnose further, he drilled down the business transactions. He was delighted to see how the upgraded interface helped him isolate the issue quickly. Kyle then explored the default view of the Team Center dashboard which showed the agents, applications, and end users. Further, he checked the upgraded settings. He could see the Universes tab and clicked on it. He saw the details of their upgraded clustered environment. Now with the EM upgrade, he could use Team Center Universes to refine the number and types of components into meaningful groups. Kyle then went on to explore the Enterprise tab. He could now see the availability of the Enterprise Team Center. After reviewing the settings, Kyle returned to the map view of the APM Team Center. He also explored the option of navigating the APM Team Center and Enterprise Team Center views, and then returned to the Team Center dashboard. Next, Kyle wanted to explore the APM web view, so he clicked on the APM.USEDU from the dashboard menu. He noticed the Home tab of the APM Web View looked similar, but it was a little different from the previous version. He navigated to the Investigator tab to see the changes there. Here, Kyle could only see the metric browser. The triage map contents had been moved to the APM Team Center. Kyle expanded APM and then the Nowhere Bank node to view its differential analysis. He expanded further and selected the Nowhere Bank portal to view the differential analysis for the portals. Then he navigated to the Resources tab. Here he found the details of CPU utilization and the time spent in garbage collection. Back in APM Team Center, Kyle launched the APM Command Center to examine it for the first time. He observed that the Help option was available on the right side of the screen. With this, Kyle finished reviewing the upgraded APM Team Center and logged out. Kyle was delighted with his findings in the upgraded interface of the APM Team Center. He could now leverage new features of CA APM 10.5, such as APM Team Center Perspectives, Differential Analysis, APM Team Center Timeline View, Enterprise Team Center Universes, Experience View, and Assisted Triage. All of these features were made available through an EM-only upgrade process. You too can experience the same benefits that Kyle experienced by leveraging the EM only upgrade option of CA APM 10.5. In the beginning of this video, we mentioned that one of the features that was key to Nowhere Bank moving forward with their upgrade to CA APM 10.5 was a simplified rollback. While Kyle thankfully did not experience any issues, let's quickly review the steps that he would have followed had he decided to roll back to the previous version. 
First, you would need to stop the APM Command Center service and the Intrascope services. He would then need to open the APM Master Rollback dot properties file and note the installation IDs. Then he would execute the rollback command using the rollback and ID arguments for the enterprise manager collector of his environment. The result would confirm the successful execution of the rollback command. He would then need to repeat the same process for all collectors and mom. Once completed, he would be able to confirm that the APM backup and Postgres QL directories have been deleted and it looks exactly like it was before the upgrade. Finally, if he launched the web view, he would find the old web view of version 9.6, which would confirm successful rollback of the EM upgrade. I'm sure you can see how easy and valuable it is to upgrade to CA APM 10.5 and use marquee features like APM Team Center perspectives, differential analysis, and APM Team Center timeline view. To learn more, please check these links.